Frem et Semio. Le pape François nous rappelle que la Christ est notre espérance. Il renouvelle toutes les choses. Le 4 capitre est le moyen de soutien des 50 ministères qui donnent l'espoir à milliers de personnes dans l'Église locale. Votre donation nous aide à consolider nos paroisses, fortifier nos familles, éduquer notre jeunesse dans la foi et soutenir la mission de l'Église. La famille que vous allez connaître maintenant est seulement un exemple de comment la foi est vécue dans le ministère dynamique, le service et engagement nous inspirant. J'aurais partagé avec vous l'histoire de Anne Riley et sa famille. When I come into church, I feel very, very happy being here because it's just been so much, not only a part of my husband and my life, but of all of our children and even some of our grandchildren were baptized here. My husband is not able to walk, so he really is more confined. He was a Eucharistic minister, and I think it was just a part of always trying to do whatever he could in the church. He really enjoyed bringing the Eucharist to nursing homes and even people at their home who couldn't come to church. The Eucharist was so important to him and he wanted to share it with other people. The parish has been the most important thing in supporting us in raising our family and I'm sure that it's the reason that our children have all stayed very much involved in the church, even though now they're out in different parishes. Both Meg and Kathy belong to St. John's Parish in Hopkinton. They've been very much involved. Both of them teach religious ed. Religious education is so important to not only teaching the children their faith, but helping them to live it in the world today. Religious education has given me as much as it's given the kids. I continue to learn about the faith all the time. I don't think we're done with our journey of learning. I think the Archdiocese plays a very important role in the furthering, the expanding of religious education. A lot of the catechesis comes from the Archdiocese and flows through either the individual teachers or through the director of the program. The Archdiocese has done an exceptional job of imparting that knowledge to all of our teachers. And I think it's important for the kids. They're experiencing parish life through religious ed, through youth groups, through service projects. It's really touching all different parts of their life. Tim was involved in a youth group down here at St. Paul's. And one day he came home and he said, you know, I really want to go to World Youth Day. To hear that from him just made us realize that he's getting it, you know, and he really wants to deepen his faith and wants to grow in his faith. World Youth Day is definitely a faith experience unlike any other. Seeing millions and like literally millions of people who were sharing the same faith as you and were trying to grow in it as well seeing all those people there who were so happy and passionate about experiencing World Youth Day is what made it amazing is that you know that this is the church, the body of Christ. Being a 17-year-old kid, it's a struggle because there are very few kids that have the same faith as me and I think I've inspired a few people. In addition to being a role model to my family, I can be a role model to people I meet on the street. All of our children have wonderful marriages, and I think that it's only natural that people like Meg and George would want to help other young couples to see what the church offers. We've been doing marriage prep for 10 years, and the Archdiocese has always been there for our training and support. It has since made another leap in Transformed in Love. Transformed in Love takes the segmented parts of a marriage preparation program and weaves them all together into a, a really meaningful piece that becomes the foundation of your marriage. Transformed in Love has been um, really revolutionary. It integrates the faith into all of your decisions. Your faith is your foundation. 
And when you continue to build on that strong foundation of your faith, you're building communication skills, you're building your finance skills. All of those skills are really based on your faith. I'm hopeful that my children will have what I had, those same community and relationships. I'm hopeful that we can, as a community, as a church, provide that for the young people coming. A really vibrant, alive church. Venez de voir comment les ministères soutenus pour la Catholic Appeal peuvent aider les personnes de tout âge à connaître et aimer Jésus. Le bulletin paroissial contient plus d'informations sur les plusieurs façons qui pourraient faire une différence dans la vie de notre Église. Prenez-vous un exemplaire pour pouvoir réfléchir sur votre capacité de participer dans cet effort. n'est pas possible de faire le travail tout seul. Que Dieu Tout-Puissant vous bénisse. Merci en pile.